is the province of Bologna in Italy, home to a famous raging bull. I'm of course talking about Lamborghini. And I've come here for this one. It's called the Cian, and every stat about it is incredible. 0 to 62 is dealt with in just 2.8 seconds. It'll go on to 217 miles an hour, and lurking under those louvres is an 812 horsepower V12. Oh, and the price? It's £3 million. But hang on a minute, we are now fifth gear recharged. So why am I here to drive something that's got petrol power? Well, the clue is in the name. In this part of Italy, Cian means a flash of lightning. Yes, this is Lamborghini's first ever hybrid car. It's a hybrid in a very Lambo way. More on that later, but for now, let's just have some fun. Am I excited? You bet I am. I could not get here fast enough. <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> 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 Now, providing you don't fiddle about with anything, the car will automatically start up in strada, or street mode, and that's where everything is the most comfortable and the softest, so the suspension, the steering, and the throttle response. It is very easy just to pootle about in this, but I still get that wonderful sense that I am in something very theatrical and dramatic. But I really can feel my wits when other cars and buses go by. I am big. At 2 metres, 26 centimetres. Oh, gosh, here comes a lorry. <gasps> Breathe in. The Sian is almost a whole fridge wider than your average family hatchback. Oh, I can tell, though, that this car is just itching to show me what it's got. Buongiorno Sport. I think I'll give the girl a bit of a dab. <laughs> have to be going that fast to have that oral pleasure. I feel exhilarated and I haven't even tickled a tenth of what this car can do. The Cian is based on the Lambo Aventador SVJ, which is a mere £500,000. So, where has all the extra cash gone? Well, for starters, the Cian has a bespoke carbon fibre body and paint scheme. But mainly it's because of the hybrid bit I mentioned earlier. The electricity the Cian uses comes from a supercapacitor. These, in very simple terms, can store a small amount of energy which can then be released very quickly. They're expensive, but they do have big advantages. Supercapacitors charge up very quickly, and with this car, that happens by pressing the brakes briefly because there's a regenerative system going on in there. These bursts of energy to the engine fill in the gaps in power delivery during gear changes, letting you go quicker and carry less weight than a traditional hybrid. How very Lambo. There is no slack in this system. On the suspension, the brakes, the steering, everything is so sharp. What a joy. And they call this a hybrid. <laughs> If you've set your heart on a supercapacitor powered CN, then I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Lambo has pre sold all 63 of them. The CN is very much a stepping stone, an introduction of electricity to the model lineup. It's also a way to show that Lambo can think outside of the box without alienating its hardcore V12 loving clientele. Lamborghini has announced that by 2024 it'll only be producing hybrid electric sports cars. But if the Cian is anything to go by, we've got nothing to worry about. It is taking my breath away, literally. <laughs> <laughs> 